Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to make the fuzz Reese, which is the meaner older brother of the sawtooth Reese. And it sounds like this in the context of a song. <laughs> Text. It's based off of the multiband Reese, which if you want to see how to make from scratch, check out my recreating So Says the Sea video. Um, but for just for this video, I'll just quickly give the rundown. Um, we're just going to use the wavetable editor to get the harmonics of a sawtooth split out into three separate oscillators. So we have just the low harmonics in this oscillator and the mids and highs separated with different amounts of stereo spread. We're also going to send the effects or send the first oscillator to this effects lane, lane one, and send the mids and highs into lane two so they can be processed separately, different cutoff settings, uh, different amounts of delay and reverb. So just that basic patch on its own sounds like this. Um, which is a cool patch, especially if you dial in the detune, you can get it sounding a little less vanilla. But for this song, I needed a lot more top end, a lot more sizzle to pop out of the mix. It's a pretty busy song. So what I did was I removed the low harmonics because we're going to get them back by adding a sub with distortion. So this noise sub is made by adding a noise oscillator, which is basically just white noise um, and some amplitude modulation. Filter out the low frequencies, add in a just pure sine wave for our sub, and then run these into the distortion together uh, where the noise and the sub interact in the distortion. As a distortion is a nonlinear unit, you can get some really nice effects by um, running different signals together into a distortion. Um, so that's how you make the noise sub. And you do get back the odd harmonics that you just removed um, with this, uh, this overdrive. Um, and the fatturator will get back some even harmonics um, as it's an asymmetric distortion. Um, so we do kind of get back the harmonics we lost here, uh, but just given that we're running it in with the noise together, we get this really nice raw sound that sounds like this. And especially in the context of the mix, um, you can see how this can really change the game. So uh, with, let's start showing with what this would sound like if we just had a basic multiband Reese. But with the fuzz Reese, where we replaced with the noise sub, it sounds like this. One more time. Man, I love that sizzle. Um, I hope you found this useful as well. Uh, if you did find it useful, remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.